Class, earlier we saw a program that worked with a rectangle. We calculated the area in the perimeter, but we did it all with assignment statements. Here's the same sort of program, only we're going to do this one interactively with input statements. Here's the setup, and as you can see, we have it commented, which is something that we should do. And we also have two inputs, two assignments to do our math, and then our output. Let's give it a run, and we'll run it uh, step by step. There's the prompt that we get for our first one. Make sure your prompt tells your users what you expect of them. In this case, we want the rectangle's length in digits. And we'll try some nice easy numbers so we can check the arithmetic. And now we want the width. And once again, we'll try a, a nice easy number. And here's our output. Area 120, perimeter is 44, which would be correct with numbers 12 and, and 10. So it's a, a better program because we can use this to calculate the area and perimeter of any rectangle. And once again, you'll notice that the variables that are in memory show up over here with their names and values. Incidentally, they're always in alphabetical order, which makes it easier if you have a long list of variables in a more complex program. Well, this program should help you a lot with your assignment for assignment one in Raptor because you're going to have to interactively uh, create a program that's going to determine the sum, product, quotient, difference, and average of two numbers. Good luck.